In this video, we're going to try and find the domain for this function. For um, for this function. So um, so when you're trying to find the domain, try and figure out what will break this function down. Well, if you look at this square root thing, um, if this bubble here is ever zero, is ever less than zero, you know it's going to break down. So the first demand that we need to make is that this thing here needs to be bigger or equal to zero. Well, that would mean um, well, add x to both sides, that would mean this. So, um, so at the back of your mind, picture the domain. So this is your y, this is your x. y equals x looks like this. So, um, so uh, y being greater or equal to x would mean this region up here. So have this buried inside your mind. Just, just have it at the back of your mind. So now the next demand is, um, is this bit here. We, uh, we've got the natural log of this thing here. So this thing here can never be, uh, well, it needs to be greater than zero. So this thing here needs to be greater than zero. This is our next demand. demand. So we need to demand this, and we also need to demand this. So demanding this, well, add x to both sides. That will then give us this. So this... Um, this region here is actually quite hard to uh, to understand. Um, we, we're going to cheat. We're going to jump to Desmos and punch in uh, punch in this thing here, which is this thing here, and then it will give us the solution. Our our, our solution is this this region here. Y equals x is this thing here, all the way down here, all the way down here. So our domain is really everything here plus this little bit here uh, we, we, but let's let's pretend we didn't know this so let's um, let's start again here let's pretend we didn't know this so start again we're trying to work out the domain for for this uh, this function here we've already established that um, that um, y needs to be bigger or equal to x so we are talking about this region and we also need to make this demand now this is this is actually quite tricky. Um, when um, when you've got an in, an in inequality, if you um, square both sides, all hell will break loose. Because um, if if you look at this, if you've got you, you know five is bigger than two, you square both sides, and and the inequality stays the same. Um, if you can see that negative two is bigger than negative five, when you square both sides. For some for some reason, this inequality switches over, and when one is positive and one's negative, um, well, if you square this and square this, the inequality switches around. The point I'm trying to make is that it's quite unpredictable when when it comes to inequalities and you're trying to square both sides. The only thing that's easy to understand is that is is when this is positive and this is positive. This is easy to understand. Um, when it's negative and negative, and when you square both sides, this will be easy to understand. But when it comes to one positive, one positive, one negative, all hell breaks loose. So just bear that in mind. When it's positive, positive is easy to understand. Negative, negative, easy to understand. What? Well, well, all hell breaks loose otherwise. Okay. So just bear that in mind. Um, so now, um, now let's try and understand what's going on here. So, so looking at our function. Anything y, uh, y equals x, we, we've established this thing here. Anything below this, we can just ignore, because anything below the y equals x line, this thing here will break down, this square root thing will break down. So, so immediately ignore everything on this side. It will just break down. Now, um, uh, let's, 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 select, um, let's select this, let, let's, let's look at this region here, this quadrant here. Let's uh, let's look at I don't know. Let's say um, let's say this point here where it's negative three comma positive two. So um, so in the in this quadrant here, x would be negative, y would be positive. So if we put this into here, and if we put this into here, um, so that would be two. That would be two. Uh, take away a negative 3, so that would be plus this. The point I'm trying to make is that 
by the way, the uh, x is negative 3. The point I'm trying to make here is that this thing here, in, in this region here, every th this thing here will always satis will, will always be bigger than x. If, if you, um, if you, well, if, if you select, let's say, negative 5, comma, 3, um, put this into here, you, you can see that, um, you can see that y is always positive, y is always positive, and then you minus another minus number, because x is in, x is always negative in this quadrant. So this thing here will always be, will always be positive, uh, when, when you square the whole thing, and then, when you square root a positive, um, a, when, when you square root a positive, it will always be bigger than the next because x is is always negative here. The point I'm well think about it. I've explained it badly, but in this region, it will always satisfy this thing here. And then uh, if if you look at this region here, remember we said we we're going to ignore everything here because this thing would break down. If you look at this thing here, let, let's select one point here. Um, x is negative 5, y is negative 2. So look at, well, y is negative 2, so you plus 5 here. And then, uh, well, this thing here will be square root of 3. Uh, and then x is always negative, because we are in this region here. Uh, again, anything in this region here will satisfy this. Um, so, so everything in this quadrant will be satisfied. Everything in, in this region here will be satisfied. Now, when um, when it comes to this quadrant, if, if you select this, um, this is x here, this is y here. Put this into the x, uh, put this into the y, so that would be the square root of 1, uh, because y take away x. Um, and then x is x is 4. So you can see that this thing here is less than 4. So so in this region here, there are some areas that will work, and there are some areas that won't work. For, for example, this point here will not work, because square root of 1 is actually smaller than uh, than than 4. So uh, so this is not true. So this this region here doesn't work. As it turns out, in this region here, some some parts will work and some will not work. So let's um, well, in, in this region here, um, hang on, let me think. In this region here, this thing here will always be positive. Um, it will always be positive. So when you square root a positive, it will always be positive. So when you well, this thing here will always be positive. Um, in in this region here. When x is greater than zero, uh, this is always positive because we're talk with, we're looking at when x um, when x is greater than zero. This is positive. This is positive. So that's this scenario here: positive, positive. So we can square both sides, and the in inequality remains the same. So because we know this is positive, this is positive. Let's square both sides. That will then give us x squared, and then y. Um, minus x, and then add add um, add x to both sides. That will then give us this. So what that means is, you draw your graph. You draw this graph here. So when it's small, it wants to do uh, a straight line y equals x. When it's big, it wants to do a quadratic. So as it turns out, it will look so not to scale. It will look something like this. Uh, you, you're going to get a quadratic. As it turns out, hang on. As it turns out, um, we need the region where y is bigger than our, our quadratic here. As it turns out, it's this region here. Um, so, so our domain, our domain is this thing here. Hang on. So, so you've got your, you've got your quadratic here. Uh, badly drawn here. So, so remember this: the quadratic that we're talking about is y being strictly greater than x squared plus x. Um, y being greater than this thing here is actually this region here. So that's why going back to our, our decimals cheat, um, we've got a quadratic here. This is actually a quadratic. This is actually a quadratic. y equals x squared plus x. 
So, so our domain is really everything in this quadrant plus this bit of a quadratic here, and then uh, everything above the y, um, uh, everything above the y equals x line. So this is our domain here. Okay. Uh, so to put it down in writing, we would write it like this: um, domain um, x and y on the um, on the two D plane, such that for for the region x uh, bigger or equal to zero. So we are talking about when x is um, is bigger or equal to zero. So we are talking about this region here. In this region here, which is this statement here, we demand that um, y squared must be bigger sorry we demand that y must be bigger than x squared plus x so that's so hang on let's draw our quadratic here uh, not to scale so uh, so in, in the region in the region where x is bigger or equal to zero which is this thing here on the right we demand that y need to be bigger than this quadratic so we are talking about this region here and then union with Union with x and y in the x uh, in the um, x y plane uh, in the region where x is strictly less than zero. So we are talking about this region here. We just require y to be bigger or equal to x. So that's that's everything up here. That's everything here. So uh, so you've got a straight line. So going back to our going back to our Going back to our original uh, graph or surface, you can see that. Um, well, don't forget on this diagram here, uh, the origins here. This is the x direction, red, red. Uh, this is the y axis in the positive direction, green is y, and the z directions vertical upwards. Well, anyway, um, I hope you can see there is. If you look carefully, there is a quadratic in here, right there. There is a quadratic in there. There, there is a quadratic in there, and uh, and also um, uh, also hang on. This is positive x. This is positive y. So this quadrant here is um, is negative x, negative y, and then that's why you've got this straight line here because our domain, our domain was well, our domain here in. When when x is this quadrant here, when x is negative, y is negative. You're going to get this straight line here. That's this bit here. So this is our this quadrant here is when x is negative, y is negative, and you're going to get this straight line here. So um, yeah, so that's our surface there. Okay. So the the final answer, our domain, is um, is given by is given by this thing here. Okay?